A new version of macOS has been released for MacBooks and other Apple devices. In this video, you are going to see how good this update really is with the help of Cinebench benchmark scores, both in single core and multi core performance. I'll also share my battery backup experience and finally whether I faced any issues after installing this update on my MacBook Air M1. So let's get started. And one more thing, if you are someone who is still confused about whether to install this new update or stay on the previous one, I'll tell you my opinion at the end. Coming to the size of this update, it's 7.69 GB. Previously, I installed the 15.7.1 update and even posted a video about it. You can check that after watching this one. After installing this 26.0.1 update, there are quite a few noticeable changes. I'll also show you the storage space differences before and after the update. Stay tuned. I started downloading the update on this MacBook Air M1. This very first M series MacBook was released years ago and still it receives timely updates from Apple. When it comes to software update support and consistency, Apple truly deserves appreciation. All right, the update has been downloaded and is now installing. Before you update, make sure your battery has enough charge and do not press any buttons while it's updating. The update took around 10 minutes to complete in my case. Once it was done, I immediately noticed changes in the overall look and feel. For me, this update feels fresh and pleasant to use compared to previous one. You will find new wallpapers, icons, colors and more. Now, here is the storage comparison before and after the update. Yes, the storage usage has definitely increased. Personally, I don't use Apple intelligence features in my daily workflow, so for me, it's not a huge advantage. Next, I checked the Cinebench scores. Here are the changes. As you can see, there is a drop in single core performance compared to before. Do note that after the update, I waited for some time to let the system cool down before doing this test. Now, coming to my personal experience, I mean the problems, first thing, the battery is draining faster. Previously, I used to get a good backup. Now, I'm observing a 15-20% to 20 drop overall. I use this MacBook the same way almost every day. I haven't changed anything significant after the update. So yes, I noticed a battery drain issue. It's not as good as before. Next issue is the Wi-Fi connection. Even at home with good range, the signal is not reaching full bars. One or two bars drop occasionally even when I'm nearby. Other than this, everything else is fine. No major issues. Comment below if you have updated to this version and faced any issues. And one more thing, all my data, files, apps, everything is intact. No data was wiped. Now, come to the final question. Should you install this update or not? The answer is, it's your choice. If you want a refreshed Mac OS look with the new features, then go ahead and install it. Otherwise, if everything is running smoothly for you, you can stick to the previous version. Just let me know in the comments if you installed this update on a different Mac and faced any issues. That's it for this video. I'll be waiting for your replies. Catch you again in the next one. Take care.